I hope that we were able to clearly identify how the mindset of a designer or person who is designing the UX for enterprise SAP UI 5 and Fury application should be. Now, what we are going to do next is understand the six basic principles. These are the guiding line which will help you in the design process. Design is not only about using the existing UI5 application components, but able to do that with these six principles within it. It's an art and also we will be telling you when it is okay to break some rule because we have broken some rules, but you should be a master of the design or you should have enough understanding of when it is okay to break the rules. And in this six UX principle, which we might have all already know about it because in the previous update, we have already mentioned what are the six principles. But in this time, we will be taking a simple example of the use case in the next section and trying to also cover how the six principles actually are applicable. Now, one more thing is that we do have a new activity-based launch pad, which was previously not covered in the previous section. You are having all those present in a single launch pad from where you started your application and all are different modules which can be present. So all that we will cover in this section. So let's get started by understanding about the six principles before going into the activity-based application and going deep. So let's cover the fundamental first and then proceed towards the details and then the implementation and engineering side of it. So when it comes to the principle, the first principle is keeping it simple. So imagine you have a simple application. This is your simple application and uh, it's, it's doing the scan of the barcode. So what UI5 or Fury design principle suggests to you that the application should be so simple that if a person is given the application to use, then they should not be given a help documentation with the application. Have you seen any help documentation with the iPad or iPhone? You might not because there is not. You don't require a documentation or how to guide to use those user interface because they are designed in such a way that it's so intuitive. And that's what we need to build in our application. The capability to be so simple that user don't need any manual or guide to follow along or use the application. So how we will design, we will just create one simple button, maybe just simple button mentioning scan. Or if you want to mention more details, scan the barcode. And then by pressing that, there will be a user screen. And for example, if we have the first screen, we have a button scan. And then once user press that, then there's a camera comes up where it can actually capture all the camera activity and it will tell, place the barcode in the camera. And once the user placed it, then it automatically captures the barcode and reads some identification. It's able to then show the details about the product from the database or maybe from the list. So this can be a simple application to scan barcode. You don't have to make it very complicated. You have to just keep the key feature at center point, at focus of the user, and try to use the context as well. So user is trying to scan the barcode. So the product which the user scans, the information then once scanned will be displayed here in the application. So this information is of the product, which barcode the user scan. So we are using the help of context as well here in making the application simple. So bringing simplicity sometimes is not that simple enough or easy enough. So you have to really put thoughts of removing the unnecessary steps or unnecessary feature. That's one of the biggest help when I design some application. I always try to build a prototype 
So this is one application prototype I built. And then I try to remove what is not required. Do I need a home button in that? No, I don't need a home button. Or do I need a back button? I don't need a back button. I just need a scan button. And once user scans it, then it will be showing me the details. And then from the details screen, I can have a back button or a home button, but I don't require to add features in the UI or application, which is not required, which makes the final application simple. This is one of the small example, but when it comes for a large project, removing the unnecessary parts of the application can drastically simplify the application. And when you are playing the role of a designer, UX developer, you should keep that in mind, removing the unnecessary parts is the key to make your application simple. Fine, so that is the principle number one. Now the next principle is coherent. Now imagine if my application of barcode scanning is going to go with other application in the dashboard. User have access to a lot of application. This is the launch pad. This works in mobile device, tablet as well, and their application from finance, HR procurement, CRM, and my application is one of the application in the procurement side where user is seeing the details of the product. Now, what should I do here? Should I be making the application the best application and give some of the fancy colors, some of the yellow, pinkish color, and maybe use some different JavaScript library to make the application pop out, or should I not? Now, the answer is no. You have to be coherent with the other application. Other application, whatever theme they are following, it can be colors, size, or fonts. You have to keep all the perspective similar. In that way, user will not face challenges when they switch the application. Because from a psychological point of view, it takes an amount of processing from the brain to consume the information and to go into a different state as well. So if the user is already in an application environment, then having opening your application within that environment will take less memory power or effort from the user side. It will be much more easier for the user to consume and use the application if it is coherent with the other application. So these principles are not designed randomly. They are there for some deep reasons which need to be followed in the design.